Emergency Incident Map Symbols Guideline. An effort from the work of the Incident Symbology Work Group for the National Alliance for Public Safety GIS. Responders need maps for four reasons. They need help to find where to go. They need to know where equipment is located and where people are located. They need help to identify features that help solve the problem that they're trying to fix. And they need to know where hazards are located so that they can either avoid the hazard or they can fix the hazard. To support these functions, the work group came up with three categories. Emergency incident symbols, pre-incident symbols, and hazard symbols. Incident symbols have three subcategories. Incident features are features that support the incident, location of ICS features, and unit location. All these symbols are scalable and adaptable. All have a clear background so that in the event these symbols are hand-drawn, time is not consumed by coloring the symbol. Incident features. These features are features that help support the incident. They're noted by a clear circle, and they indicate where people should go or where equipment is located. Examples of these symbols are base, emergency shelter, evacuation features, staging, fire hydrant, civilian staging, or where civilians should congregate, and camp. There are ways to enhance or modify the feature location. For example, a dashed line can be used to indicate a feature that is in the future, not in use, or planned. An arrow can also be used to augment the symbol to indicate the direction or to show where people should assemble. With all symbols, clear text should be used to make the meaning of the symbol more understandable. Incident command locations are shown by a clear rectangle. These features note the location of the person in charge of a section, branch, group, division, or at the command level. The markings on the top of the symbol are optional, showing what level the feature is compared to the military. Units are represented by a clear oval. This symbology is most effective when data is collected passively through AVL or other location devices. This symbol can be categorized to fit different needs, including at the personnel level. There is always exception to the rule. For example, a command post, which is not a circle, is a square noted by a blue and white triangle. It is recommended to use clear text at the bottom of the symbol to make the meaning more understandable. Also, color can be used to make the meaning of the symbol more understandable. In this case, such as a treatment area where a green patient should go. Also, another exception is if the symbol looks like the feature it represents, in this case a fire hydrant, it is logical to, to accept that symbol. Hazard symbols are perhaps the most important symbol. It denotes the feature that could be harmful to responders and it should be either voided or mitigated. The diamond is the preferred shape of this symbol. This is due to the abundant number of symbols and signs where diamonds are used for hazards, such as the NFPA 704 symbol, DOT hazmat placarding, DHS incident symbology, and even road signs have all the same common shape. pre planned features are features that are assessed before the incident. It is largely drawn from the fire service and derived from NFPA 1620. These standards have a color background to differentiate it from symbols that happen at the incident. These pre-planned symbol categories include access feature or features noting entry or exit into a part of a structure or an area, detectors or fire suppression systems, and geographic building features that are part of an area or building. These can be inside or outside and have a specific purpose. Fire suppression features are features that have essentially water going into it, going through it, or coming out of it, and are used for fire suppression. Feature shutoff devices are devices or valves that help shut off products such as gas or electricity. Ventilation features are features that help remove airborne hazards from a building or other type of structure. And alarms are features that include fire and burglar alarms. So you can see here in this, exa in this example, we'll go through creating a symbol for the location of an incident feature. First we establish a clear circle and then use a commonly accepted acronym for the feature and, or one that is intuitive to most people. In this case we'll use evacuation. To further define the symbol we'll add shelter at the bottom of it to clarify the meaning of that symbol. From there we'll add an arrow to note the direction of where the feature is or to emphasize that people should congregate, congregate at that location. Remember all these symbols are Modif can be modified to suit the scale and use of the map. In this hazard symbol, a diamond is recommend the recommended guideline, but intuition and norms can make up the rest of the symbol. In this case, it can be text, an arrow simulating narrow access point, 
or just an exclamation point showing, giving an emphasis that there is a hazard there. Also, the feature could be scaled and a color background or none at all could be defined. Bottom line is though, the diamond is the hazard symbol. And finally, this pre-planned symbol is an example of an alarm symbol that can be modified to show what type of alarm it is, the location of the alarm by clear text at the bottom, and even more detailed information in the upper right corner about exactly what type of alarm panel it is. Also, it could be scaled down to fit on the map. As you can see, you can scale the map and recognize the general meaning of the symbol based on the shape, color, and text associated with the symbol. And when all else fails, that is what a legend is for, or you can click on the attribute of the feature and reveal what the feature means. These symbols are located or will be located in the future at the following spots. Symbol.firemapping.com for raster images for use in Google Earth or ArcGIS.com. The National Alliance for Public Safety GIS. ArcGIS Online account is a site where we'll include example maps. We'll also have this stuff in the future located in the ArcGIS Resource Center. And don't forget, a pencil and paper are not out of style. Thanks for your time and please leave comments below.